My name is Don Feinberg and I'm the uh, founder of Van Bergen de Wolf, which was one of the first import companies in America to specialize in importing Belgian beer. And as a result, I've uh, known Scaldus beers and Brasserie de Buisson for over 30 years and had a long and wonderful relationship both with uh, Vincent and Hugues de Buisson uh, and the family de Buisson, but also with their beers. Uh, today the beers are imported by TBS, uh, a successor company to my own, and they've been enjoyed by Americans since 1982, I believe, in uh, the United States. One of the interesting things is when we, brought, uh, when we first started importing Belgian beers, there were two things that were unusual for Americans. One was the strength of Belgian beers, and of course, Scalvis being the strongest beer in Belgium, 12% was really a revelation to them. And we actually uh, tried to make that more understandable for Americans by giving it a name, and we gave it the moniker, the Cognac Beer of Belgium. And uh, the reason was not that it was made with cognac or it tasted like cognac, but because it had certain aromas that Americans might associate with cognac, but also so that Americans could understand that drinking a strong beer was something that they might relate to the way they drink a strong beverage like cognac. So for example, they might drink it after dinner or before dinner. And uh, it was a long proposition. It wasn't easy to do, uh, convince Americans to drink stronger beers, but slowly but surely they, they learned not only to appreciate it, but to enjoy the particular quality that is uh, the Scalus beers. And one of the things I think is most interesting about Dubuisson is they use one yeast to make all of their beers. And because they do that, they have not only a house character, but it's a yeast that can actually produce 12% of alcohol, which means fermenting the beer very, very fully, very cleanly. And that gives it a drinkability that normally you don't associate with strong beers of this type. It's not only drier, but it actually is lighter in the mouth. And it's really an experience that you have to have. You can't explain it to people. Uh, you have to just say you have to try it. And then after they try it, you can, of course, help them to understand why it's so different and why it's so unusual. In terms of the whole range uh, and the brewery, we've really de delighted to see that Brewery de Buisson has really not only grown in volume, but in types of beers that they make available. So while we started with the classic Bush or Scalvis Amber, uh, they eventually added to the range Bush Blonde, Scalvis Blonde. They also added a Christmas beer, all very strong, all with the same yeast again, so the same house character, but all with this drinkability and a, a sort of aromatic signature that we used to call peachy, uh, or we call peachy because it's a very sort of fruity quality that we like.